Hi there, Paul again from Rotec Engineering, and we're here looking at a J430 Jabiru that's been converted to Rotec liquid cooling. And I've just test flown this aircraft myself today after a bit of installation, and um, it, uh, it's fantastic. I'm getting on a fairly sunny Melbourne's day here today. It's probably about 18, 17, 18, 19 degrees, I guess, out here. Beautiful sunny day. Anyway, um, I can run this engine on takeoff with cylinder head temperatures around 75 degrees Celsius, 85. And then on cruise, cruise power, put the nose down, gets to about 75 Celsius, and I can run at that temperature all day. Now for American people, you can do the, the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit, but it's well under 200. 212 is 100 degrees, and I get nowhere near 100 degrees even on the ground. Now what we've done here is this is a genuine uh, stock standard cowling. Uh, all we've done is um, added a, a scoop there at the bottom there, just under the, the oil cooler scoop, you can see it there. And inside that scoop there's a, um, a radiator, and that's feeding a, radio, a, a small radio, motorbike radiator about, um, you know, about 175 by 200 square, smaller than a sheet of letter paper or A4, and it's got a core thickness of about 30 millimetres. And there you can see the scoop there. In fact, you can see the radiator right in there. It's laying flat in the cowl. And we created a little bit of a diffuser at the back there just to get some pressure out. Basically, the air comes in through with that lower scoop, feeds through the motorcycle radiator, and then out uh, on the low-pressure area there near the nose wheel. And um, absolutely fantastic. So I had no problems. I've just physically taken this plane for a flight, which is pretty exciting, considering I've never flown a Jabiru before. And it went really well. There's the profile aircraft, so it looks quite neat. And just walking around, there's the scoop for the radiator. And it's all looking good. Now I've got that cowl loose, so I'll just take it off now. So Ben, if you just come around here, I'll show inside uh, under the cowl what we've done. You take over there. Yep. You don't have to get me in shot necessarily. All right, so under the cowl here, come in nice and close. We've got the conversion. Um, it's all fairly straightforward. I've, I've mounted a, a standard motorcycle style fill neck here, 1.1 bar it blows off at. I've got an overflow bottle here which has got coolant in it, 50-50 glycol. Here's our liquid cooled heads. I've got the thermocouple under the bolt here. And here's our, um, here's our outlet water, uh, hot water coming out. As you can see, this aircraft has none of those fiberglass ducts. We just let the, the raw air come in here and ventilate and cool the entire engine so there are no fiberglass ducts at all. These are our liquid cooled heads here, six of them of course. Here's our common rail for our, our, uh, our hot water out and there's our thermocouple for our water temperature and that is a long probe going into the water, water gallery straight through that band, aluminium banjo bulb. And I've got, I'm monitoring six cylinder heads for CHT here also. So come around the other side and again on this side, on the right hand bank of three cylinders, we've got the Rotec liquid cooled heads, see no fins at all. Here's the hot water out, coming to a pipe here which joins together then goes down to the radiator. For the water inlet, what we've got is we've got a common rail here. Three pipes on this side, you can see them there, and three pipes on that side. Now the water pump, the electric water pump actually feeds that common rail and then those six individual pipes feed the six individual heads. So it's a fairly simple system, and if you come around the other side, I might be able to, you might be able to see the pump where it's located. Just lift that scat tube out of the way. You can see I've got the pump there. Does that show? Yeah. Okay. So there's a 12 volt Davies Craig electric water pump. It draws about 2.5, 2.8 amps maximum. So um, that's not going to put any stress on the charging system at all. And the pump, in fact, is directly mounted to a right angle bend on that uh, common, common pressurised rail, which feeds cold water into the engine. So it's not actually mounted to anything, it's just simply mounted to that rail. And that rail is actually mounted using two P-type clamps and a welded tab that's mounted directly to the, um, the brace on the, uh, the diagonal brace on the uh, standard Jabiru engine mount. Let's pan out now. So the whole package is quite neat. And um, it was really reasonably straightforward. We made patterns for this scoop here, so that can be repeated over and over. 
And all in all, I'm really pleased with the way the, uh, the whole project has come about. And um, I'm now going to fly the aircraft to Moorabbin and the client's going to pick it up and I'm certain he's going to be very, very happy. Okay, bye for now.